Ublalo Atak. Kanuik Pizzi. Today is Thursday. What day? All day today, let's be. Always do cooperate and let's treat. Today we're continuing on our journey of learning about what some of the people you see and work with every day did to get their teaching degrees or experiences that they've had after high school. Let's listen in. Hi, everybody. Uh, I wanted to share a little bit uh, with you guys about uh, my college experience. So I uh, went to a place called Augustana University. It's in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I studied special education and elementary education there. And just something that really stuck out to me uh, with college was one, all the just wonderful, great relationships and friends that I made while I was there. And also, uh, I just really got excited about learning when I went to college. I wasn't too excited about school and all that when I was in high school, but when you go to college, there's just so many experts in their field and they're so awesome at teaching you what they are passionate and what they love and it really rubs off and you really um, start to be passionate and love learning too. Um, I went to Luther College uh, in Decorah, Iowa and I studied elementary education and one thing I learned was um, how to juggle everything going on because I had a job and um, I had to, you know, do homework and attend classes. So there was a lot of things happening, but then I figured out how to make lists and figure out what was the most important to do and when and put things, you know, on a calendar. And yeah, it worked out. Hey, I'm Holly. I teach fifth grade for those of you who don't know me. And I went to San Diego State University for my undergraduate degree and at SDSU, I um, had the fortunate ability to take a lot of electives because I did my English language arts courses in high school through advanced placement. And the advice I want to give you is when they have you do electives, do things that you've always wanted to try, new experiences. So for example, I took ballet and psychology and surfing. And uh, with surfing, I want to tell you a very short story. Um, I grew up in San Diego where everyone can surf and I've always been afraid of waves, so I never learned. And I took surfing because I decided that I should know how to surf being from San Diego, but I was still afraid of waves. The only time I got up, I jumped off. And my teacher uh, told me, as long as I get in the ocean and try, he would pass me. So I uh, just wanna tell you, when you're in college, communicate with your teachers because they are there to help you. Um, another example is I had to take business calculus, which is, just as hard as it sounds and I spent a lot of time in the math lab and so when you're at college use the resources they have um, what was called the math lab at my school which is people there to help you with your math they have writing centers and um, they often have a counseling services ours had a chair that was like an egg and when you sat in it it would cause you to not be able to hear or see anything and it would play calming music and you'd be able to watch beautiful videos and it was really just to calm you and center you because college can get very stressful, but it can also be a ton of fun. And my favorite class ended up being psychology um, and I was a business degree first and then I became a teacher after I did business. So even if you graduate with one thing and do one thing, it may not be what you do forever. I was a hotel manager before I was a teacher. And so, you know, just the world, is so full of options and get out there and see what you like. Thank you. I went to Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado, and it was the best experience because I got to go and learn what I wanted to learn in my college classes. And I really found community there and it was a lot of fun. And I have friendships that have lasted a lifetime. And it was just really a neat experience to go and take different classes that I never thought I'd take before. So it was super fun. And I really encourage everybody to go do it if they have the chance.